everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we are on the final free play video for LEGO City Undercover. That's right, this is Special Assignment 15, Fly Me to the Moon, also known as Blackwell's Moon Base on your map. But uh, yeah, we're actually going to get all of the character and vehicle tokens, except for Rex Fury, as we got him in our preparing for free play. We're also going to get that 10x stud multiplier, which is going to be pretty super sweet. And uh, hey, uh, will you by now probably already have Rex Fury if you're you're watching this and you don't already have them you're probably just getting ready to complete the 15th level in story mode but hey uh, we've got this strong guy here and we're ready to roll so we're gonna turn on a couple of red bricks that we've accumulated over our 14 levels of gameplay and including also our preparing for free play video so we got quite a few on and the most important ones that well actually my favorite ones so far are definitely the super color gun and the super astro crate for whatever reason I had trouble with those astro crates and I kept messing them up mainly because I was looking away not paying attention but uh, that makes it super easy I don't have to pay attention it just solves it for me as you can see here on the far right side or east side of the map we're gonna find this little island out here that has the Blackwell's moon base starting point we're gonna go ahead and select that and of course we're gonna uh, well uh, advise you to check out our quick links down below if you're in a hurry to get those last couple of collectibles if you're not then let's go ahead and take on this final level together we're going to start off by actually dropping down over onto this platform and immediately grabbing a few studs and grabbing that Lego City Hero requirement. Actually wrapping up all 15 because that's the 15th one. And we're also going to shoot that little power node there with our color gun that uh, happens to have that red brick, super color gun, red brick gun for the color changing stuff. So if you don't have that particular color gun red brick then you're probably gonna have to do a little traveling and a little back and forth because the color gun swappers all the way at the end of this area but uh hey make sure you smash the first of four of those weird robotic uh i don't they kind of look like satellites i don't know transformer type things and of course you're gonna want to pull the orange handle on that back box there to go ahead and start the first of three so we've officially started to get police shield piece one and police shield piece two and we do have quick links for each of their locations if you're in a hurry because like maybe you only uh, maybe you missed one of those robotic satellite guys and you need to find that or hey maybe you didn't know where that last strength handle is whatever the case may be those quick links will help you get through there quickly and efficiently oh no watch out that next step's a doozy good thing we've got this jetpack so we can jetpack our way across from platform to platform oh <laughs> look at that i tossed him right off the edge right off this platform but uh it turns out uh, we're gonna have to activate the old jetpack Swinkles there because we probably wouldn't make it all the way across without them and they kind of help refuel our jetpack which is very very handy now i kind of cheated right there actually i think you have to do that anyways I, but at the same time i almost wonder does he come down on his own I, I don't know why i feel like in the story mode he came down on his own look at this i'm like i'm out of here man i'm not gonna wait for you but then he hops on and somehow glitches through and plummets to his doom now uh once we get to this next platform you probably notice there is the second of four of those weird kind of satellite robotic type things we smash him down and collect him and of course over on the left hand side there was a few boxes that we also smashed which revealed a stick of dynamite allowing us to slam dunk it on that little uh, brown barrel in front of the silver bricks and into this room here and check it out we gotta get our d -d 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 drill out and drill down a little bit and oh looks like we have struck well not not quite gold or oil, but hey, it's a way up to the next level, which is good enough for me. Look at me, I'm rocking my David Hasselhoff edition of Chase McCain. I don't know about you, but I don't know why. I just feel like Kit's going to be right around the corner, and I'm going to have to hop in and, you know, fight some bad guys. Oh, look at that, bad guys are here, so where's Kit? But uh, yeah, you probably noticed too in the back right corner there, I actually smashed the third of those robotic satellite guys, and right next to it is actually the next strength handle too, so they were pretty convenient and nice to us in this final level, kind of placing those collectible things in order there and look at me i'm just tossing these guys off the edge left and right however they have jetpacks and they seem to be appearing now i had a buddy over he was kind of watching me play and helping read some of my notes to me and he was like god are these guys ever gonna stop coming and i was like i don't know i think they're endless never ending never ending that's a new word hey look at that i created a new word we're wrapping up a, a free play series and i created yet another new word it's so look they just keep coming they're never ending <laughs> All right, I think the real story here is that you actually need to fight these guys. Throwing them around doesn't do much, or if any, damage for that matter. And finally, I get the cuffs on all those guys, or they 
like a balloon all the way around the room. And they are out of here. Next up, we're going to grab that strength handle in the back right corner. And, well, we've got those two color gun spots there that we could totally shoot right now. Look at me. I thought about it, but I was like, nah, I'm going to go ahead and do the old jetpack across here and find, ooh, a space crate and some other items, including the next of those satellite thingy me bobbers, the little robots. It's in the back left corner there, as you can see, just to the left of the door. All right, we've got a space crate. We've officially uh, zapped in some bricks, but it's not enough. It turns out there's a green base plate right there that we need to find a box to place it on to get the last of those bricks. So we're going to go ahead and trudge around, and here it is, police shield piece. One piece, four of four, booyaka show. Thank you very much. We'll go ahead and collect that police shield piece. We're getting pretty close to that uh, shield collector trophy achievement, which we are going to get rewarded at the end of this video for completing all of the shields, or I guess collecting all of the shields throughout all 15 of the special assignments. All right, so we've got the old base plate slam dunked on the old base plate a Rooney. Now we've got ourselves a vehicle for the Mooney. <laughs> All right, I know I'm a little loony. I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. All right, so we officially roll over the old pressure sensitive switch there, which gives us the old uh, tractor beam. I guess it's not really a tractor beam, it's more of a, uh, I don't know, what do we want to call it? Some sort of a force field walkway there. And uh, hey, we're back over here. We've blasted both of those color gun spots, opening the door, giving us access to this upper level. And you can see right there, as soon as we started there, there was another strength handle in the back left corner. So we're going to hop out with Rex. Spam, 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 spam. Look at that. We're going to rip it off. And booyah, kashow. Two of four are officially ours now. Now, you probably noticed there is a color gun spot there. We're going to go ahead and Blast that and look at that it opens another door into this little atrium and inside we find some smashable items but also the red brick for the 10x stud multiplier so we are officially stacked up with all of our multipliers now we just have to finish the level before we can activate it and turn that 384 times into a 3840 times which is pretty sweet now, uh, we've got everything we needed in this area, so we're going to use our jetpack to get up to this upper level here. And, of course, use our crow bar cro -cro, to get inside that room and flip the switch. And look at that. We've got another pressure-sensitive guy we need to go ahead and stand on. So we'll go ahead and move our moon buggy right on over the top of it, which will open up yet another door for us and allow us to travel inside the fortress here. So uh, I guess it's not the fortress. It's a spaceship. In the spaceship. Spaceship. I have it labeled as the rocket base, but uh, you know, that, that may be it. I don't know if I'd really call it. Is it this rocket base? I mean, this is inside the rocket, right? All right, so make sure to take note of the giant yellow, <laughs> I, I don't know, it's like an exoskeleton suit we're gonna use here in a minute for a fight scene. But uh, we're gonna pay attention to a couple of items in hall. In fact, we've got, uh, well, not one, but two of these safes that need cracking. So we're going to go ahead and switch on over to our, no, we need our criminal or Rex Fury in this particular case to go ahead and listen in and crack that safe. Look at that. We got one of two down already. The other one's on the left side. So it doesn't matter which one you get first. There's one on the right and one on the left. Make sure you crack them both and it'll actually kick down with the police shield piece three, leaving only one more till we get that trophy achievement shield collector. But uh, all right, we gotta make our way back on over to the right-hand side. I probably should have gone to the left side first because I would have got the left one, and then I could have gone and cracked the right safe, and then that other item, the other pull handle, right here, it would have been right there for me. But that's all right. I got my steps in for the day. I don't know about you, but I got a little pedometer counts my steps. I just gotta get my steps in. Gotta gotta stay active. You know, me sitting in my caboose in this chair all day long. You know, it's real easy to let them calories stack up. And speaking of stack up, we've got the payload vehicle token now that we can stack up. Well, I don't know if we can put anything on it. But it looks like a giant truck, didn't it? But uh, all right, next up, we have to switch on over to our construction suit and take, uh, well, note of this fuse panel how that is not working properly. So we're going to go ahead and pull out a hammer and look at that. It opened up a color power node here. We're going to go ahead and shoot it with our super color gun and booyaka show. Now, there should be a color gun swapper in the corner over there if you need it. If you don't, uh, well, hopefully you don't. Hopefully you got the red brick turned on for that. 
makes it a lot easier, especially in the free roam, which is coming up next. That's going to be the next focal point of our video series is going to be the free roam. But we're not there yet. We actually have to hop in this giant yellow exoskeleton and complete this little puzzle here, which, you know, I got to be honest, when I played the story mode, I did not notice that the solution to the puzzle was just to the right there on top of the little uh, machine. So you can see right where I walk up to it, it actually has the solution right there, but I can't see it now. So anyhow, uh, take note of that before you go in here. I'll maybe get a peek at it. Nope, I pushed too many buttons. Got button happy there. But uh, essentially what we want to do is we want to route the power up around the left corner and then back down and around to that right power node as opposed to that one on the top there. So uh, I thought I had the perfect fix here but as it turns out i made a little boo-boo and i gotta come back and switch a piece or two around so here we go wait 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 for it nope no nope, no nope. there we go up and we gotta flip that one down yep yep and that flips about oh look at that thank you very much we've sealed that bad boy off and we are good except for oh no what five four three i hope you're stuck what we're launching i guess that's what we wanted to do i'm not sure but oh no it's a cutscene what I'd like to say that I left that in there on purpose, but nope, no such luck. So, all right, here we are. We're in the final battle. Da -da -da -da. I don't know. Are you guys getting tired of me? It's kind of like my epic, like, finishing song. And it's one of my favorites. You know, obviously, they've re-brought that back for some commercial branding and stuff, too. But I was doing it before that. Uh, anyways, we've got this battle. we got to take out the old T-Rex, which is, uh, to me, it's very much the homage to the Aliens 2 final scene where Ripley has to take out the old Xenomorph. Which, by the way, has anyone seen Alien Covenant? God, I can't. I, I've got free passes sitting here, and I can't find the time to get out there. But... All right, this battle, each heart requires three steps. You gotta throw one of the barrels at it, which you gotta carefully time, because he does kind of do a roar, which you gotta jump over, or it'll knock you down, or knock the barrel out of your hand. And uh, then once you got the barrel, once you successfully connect with the barrel, see, I'm gonna fail right here, watch this. Boo, boo. All right, so I wait for this next jump, or stomp. That's right, it's kind of a stomp, roar combo, and it does you in every time. But all right, so we throw the barrel at him. We've already completed one of these, but you gotta walk up and you gotta spam the button and kind of rip that jaw open. Once you rip the jaw open, he lays down, and then it's when you go in for the final toss, and you gotta whip him around and bounce him off the wall. So there's these three tanks. We've already taken out one of them. We're gonna go ahead and toss him around. You gotta hit that button until it fully reaches the end, and boo, you can shout. The second of three tanks has been taken down now. And, uh, all right, all right, all right. Maybe there's only two tanks. I'm, I'm, like, trying to tell you there's three tanks, but i got to be honest. I'm not sure that there is a third tank. You have to do the process three times, though. I know that is the case. But, oh, no, bad jump timing, bad jump timing. All right, here we go. We got one more barrel. We're going to toss at this guy. And, oh, to the, yeah, we got him. Locked in. He's waiting for us to come in and do a little dental work on him here. We'll go ahead and open wide. That's right. Now he's down for the count. The last toss right here, and then this is going to actually cue us for uh, the final, final battle. That's right. I know I kind of already told you we had one battle going here, but once we get this open, it's going to take us up to this final platform up here, and this is where we actually battle Rex himself. But before doing that, you want to take out these three astronaut crates. They're a little different. They're more of a box than a crate, I should say. One's right to the start on your left, which I ran right by, and the other two are kind of in the back, middle to middle right. Look at that. We've got all of those shield pieces now giving us that final crest and we are gonna get that crest collector here in a minute I guess I think they call it the shield collector but I'm gonna call it the crest collector because we done just done played Harry Potter and they had crests and it was the same so I don't know really it just makes more sense to keep it consistent but I guess hey if they're gonna change it I'd better conform to change change is good all right, so here's another situation where I've got a bunch of those red astronauts, and they seem to be never-ending. However, all of a sudden, they're gone, and all of the platform starts falling apart, and in comes Rex. That's right, bad boy Rex. He's got a much cooler jet tank than we do because it seems to last forever, and it also comes equipped with a force field. So maybe that's the cloud. I know we picked up another vehicle token that kind of looked like a jetpack you know, on steroids, maybe that's what it was. But look, we got Rex's Tempest, maybe that's what it is. I'd have to, you know, I'd have to look into these because I haven't actually played with any of these vehicles yet. We haven't unlocked them. I mean, I guess we've unlocked, we haven't paid for them, assuming you have to purchase them too, just like you do with the character tokens. 
Uh, but see, look at that. I'm still a noob as far as all that goes. I, I always save all my money until the end, and then I buy them all at once. You know, usually the red bricks are really important, and you have to pay for those. In this particular case, for the Xbox uh, One and the PS4 versions, you do not have to purchase the red bricks, which makes things a lot nicer. But, uh, you know, you still need all that studage for other things. So, all right, we are officially battling Rex. We have tossed one of these astronauts up into him, which kind of knocked his force field down and brought him down to our, our level here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and I keep trying to throw guys in him but that doesn't work you got to get up close and personal but really what you got to do is let him attack you and hit the counter attack button at least that's what was working for me uh, I remember being able to run up to him and actually cha 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 in the story mode but once every time I get up close to him look he just picks me up and says nope not today buddy and he keeps tossing me off the side and look at me I'm losing all my studs man I only got 27 million and counting and think about that, I still got another multiplier to turn on once we complete this level. So uh, that's going to be fun going through the free room. I'm sure there will be no shortage of studage. I keep throwing these guys at him thinking that's going to be the only way I can take any hearts off of him. But I finally figured out here in a second, this has got to be like the longest battle, longest failed battle, I got to say, that I've ever been involved with, at least in a Lego game. I'm, I've been involved in some other uh, puzzles that I didn't quite understand. But this one, this one was the worst. At least I was playing it like the worst. All right, so here we go. I get choked up one more time. And hey, what a perfect time for a reminder. Thumby, good, good timing. You know, if you guys are in a hurry, uh, not really. All you have left is Rex. Fury's character token. If you don't already have him, you probably haven't even started free play yet as I don't think there is another strong character and as far as I know, I'm not sure that there is a red brick for that either. There might be. There might be. I know that there's quite a few red bricks that I have not unlocked yet, but but look, I finally got the old counterattack in. He's back up floating around, which means now I actually have to throw one of these red astronauts at him and knock him back down. That's right. I got to knock his block off. But uh, is anybody else excited for free room? I know a few of you uh, messaged me and you've asked specifically for an area and you said you look forward to an area. By now, it's been a few days. I'm not sure you've solved that or not. I know that there's some issues too, at least when Doug was writing the guide and going through all the free roams trying to get his platinum trophy, he definitely found a few collectibles that were not easily found. Now, you're supposed to use a tracker, I believe is the issue, but for some reason it's not working. So uh, we'll address that as we come to it and we'll help you find each and every one of those collectibles as we go through each of the, what, 21, 22 areas? However many of those free roam areas that they are, there are. <laughs> All right, anyhow, we are uh, running out of steam here, but good enough. We're actually almost at the end of this video. We have one giant long fall to Earth after we take out Rex Fury, which looks like we've only got one heart to take down left. So one more counterattack, which ends up with him on his back and cuffs on his, oh, here we go, Blue Yukashow, and wait for it, here we go. Keep in mind, too, we have removed a few cutscenes, so there may have been some stuff there for you that wasn't there for us. But now we are plummeting to our doom. I gotta say, this was fun, but this did seem a little uh, long. You know, it just kind of seems to go on and on and on and on and on. Now, keep in mind, we enjoy the studage because plenty of stud rings. But, uh, yeah, I gotta say, I, I, I really, honestly, I considered editing... A lot of this out just because it goes on for like another two or three minutes so I also considered like putting in some Jeopardy music or some sort of like elevator music to uh, help soothe or pass the time but uh, no nope. nasally drone for you is all you get from me but uh, all right basically uh, you know my best piece of advice if you're having troubles you now really you shouldn't have any troubles because you just kind of continue to fall and if you do hit something big it actually just kind of resets you about I don't know 10, 10 seconds or less above where you are. Sometimes I've actually noticed it actually spawns you in front of where you got hit a thing. So uh, past the trouble or problematic areas. But look at that. We are uh, making our way all the way down. And hey, what a good time for you to become a patron. There's plenty of time to go on over to patreon.com and uh, pick a tier that works for you. You could do that and come back and there would still be time left before we get through this long plummet to Earth. But however, uh, the only real important part of this is coming up if you haven't already got it. Now for us, we got it in story, and I have to be honest, I'm like 95.9, so like almost 96% sure that uh, you cannot miss Rex Fury in your fall here. So he comes up, the character token, we're not gonna see him in this video. We're gonna see a blue stud that represents where his character token was. 
But, uh, well, it's coming up pretty close here. There it is right there. Booyaka show. But, yeah, you can see we obtained it the story mode. And uh, we did that so we wouldn't have to come back and play this level first or out of order or whatever in order to get that Rex Fury character token. Because we actually need a strong character. And he is our guy. You can tell he's always flexing up and showing his muscles off if you don't. If you ever notice that, don't, don't touch the controller with him equipped. And uh, it'll uh, totally flex up on you. So... Oh, to the yeah, we got a couple of seconds left. I don't know if this, you can, I wonder, can you fail this scene? Like, I tried to hit the brakes, but I thought, nah, I don't want to mess this up. I have to do this over again. This is the end. But, uh, yeah, I come to a nice safe landing thanks to my jetpack. I drop down for the last thing. And, oh, to the yeah, look at that. We have unlocked the 10X red brick for stud multiplication. And uh, we got all of the police shield pieces. And wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, uh, uh show Shield Collector. Now, that is awarded to us for collecting all of the police shield pieces, one on each of the 15 special assignments. And, of course, we got all three of the remaining character and vehicle tokens. <laughs> Easy for me to say, huh? That were left. And, of course, we blew right on by that real city hero requirement. And look at that. We are a legend. Are you a legend? Hopefully you are. That one is awarded for completing all of the LEGO City stud requirements on all 15 of those assignments as well. So knock those out and you'll get that one as well if you didn't already. And hey, look at that. That's going to wrap it up for LEGO City Undercover Special Assignment 15. Fly me to the moon. Blackwell's Moon Base Free Play. And that's going to wrap it up for all of Free Play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys are ready for Free Roam if you haven't already knocked it out on your own. And uh, yeah, who knows what's next. We got some other installments of LEGO coming soon. And uh, yeah, for me that's gonna do it for right now stay tuned for the free roam as always until next time